Anyway. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at Medway Park Leisure Centre in Gillingham, Kent, for the final UKPW show of 2019. UKPW showcase, and my God, what a show today was, Ross. Absolutely. This is this is one of my favourite shows to call. I actually think it, I think it surpasses every show we've we've ever done. Uh, we all started off today. Maverick Mayhew against the debuting. Uh, Smashing Mike, yeah. Smashing Mike. Uh, I actually thought about Smashing Mike maybe underestimating Maverick Mayhew a little bit. Um, Massively, I think. But as the match went on, it almost seemed as the other way round that uh, Maverick Mayhew was uh, underestimating um, Mike. And I'll tell you what, it, <laughs> a bit of controversy. And I know you were saying you didn't see it. I think uh, the managing officer of UKPW, James Ell, saw it. It looked like there was a legitimate three count that. CJ Gunner didn't get, which would have given Smashing Might the victory, but it didn't happen, and uh, Maverick Mayhew uh, came out victorious. Well, if that is the case, then there is an argument to say that um, we could see a rematch between these two men. Well, I, I would not begrudge a rematch. I would love to see a rematch between the two. And then we saw, just before our interval, the UKPW Interregional Championship on the line in a scramble match. Champion Kieran Corrupt the thing against Buff Broadside, Danny Sabbath. And, uh, well, I actually thought Fentos looked like he was actually going to win the match. Um, he was the interim champion. He, he tried so many times to duck and hide. It was working for the long part. It looked like he was going to win. And then, out of nowhere, Danny Sabbath just came along. Looked like, just with seconds to go, he was going to become champion. And then Buff Broadside, out of nowhere, stealing the victory, making the run for it when there was no time left and Buff Broadside is the brand new inter-regional champion. This was an absolute war. I mean, we saw some crazy spots here. We saw all we saw all four men fly to the outside, including Buff Broadside, which, uh, which well, yeah, is a sight speaking, to battle. Speaking of which, Buff Broadside, he, he launched Kieran Corrupt in the Gorilla Press, launched him over the top rope, taking out the other the other two competitors at ringside just in front of us but Buff Broadside's incredible return since coming back from retirement has been is, is going very very positive for him and we, we congratulate the new champion now uh, after the interval triple threat tag team elimination match uh, the business that who won the tag titles here at the last show here in Medway Park Gillingham defending against the team of Muscles Mansfield and the new one true last true superstar Stuart Shepherd, who we knew as Mountain Stew, we, we know from the last show what happened there, and that, and also against Manelli Mania, Steve Manelli and his son Sid Manelli. Uh, it was Mansfield and Shepherd who were eliminated first, um, and it just literally out of nowhere, the business captured the win to retain the titles. Yeah, we we literally, it was that quick that there was no room to, there was no time to actually. Uh, time to breathe basically. I do believe though uh, with what we saw uh, maybe um, when 2020 kicks off and that maybe we will see uh, a match between Manelli Mania for the tag titles against business. I personally would love to see that match. We're, we'll, we'll see what happens when uh, what Mark, uh, James Ells has to say about that. But in any event we go on to our main event, the one we've all been waiting for over a year in the making. Dow Jones challenging for the UKPW Championship of the World in a title versus title match, last at man standing. And it was everything we thought it would be, and it even exceeded expectations, Ross. This was an absolute war, and this is one of my favourite matches that I've seen in all my time in UKPW. As I said, Alexander Roth has been one of the greatest champions we've ever seen, the longest reigning UKPW champion of all time. Uh, we saw it, it looked like it was uh, Dal Jones was going to have the advantage with Fentos at ringside. Alexander Roth was like, no, I'm going to bring out my longtime friend Kieran Corrupt. Came to ringside. Um, Fentos ended up at the back. And then, uh, well, Martin Raymondson was called out as well. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, much to the uh, disgust of Dow Jones. Fentos and Raymondson ending up out the back as Kieran Corrupt was at ringside throughout the majority of the match. It was pure carnage. Weapons, the front, like kendo stick, ladders, chairs, even in the table. Fire extinguishers. Uh, yeah, it was absolute pandemonium. And uh, I mean, before we get to the result, I mean, the, I take my hat off to both guys. I mean, what a main event that really was. I mean, uh, you know, it was a very personal. Um, showdown between the two. 
and it, it exceeded all expectations and um, you know I want to thank both guys uh, for putting everything out there in that ring today and ent entertaining us it was an absolute honour and a privilege to not only witness that match but to call it uh, I'm going to be very humble here because um, both men as you see um, we see these guys every show and what they give to, our, to, to the fans and everyone else so it's associated with the UKPW and it was just absolutely off the chain it was phenomenal but yeah as we go to the, 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 the ending of the match um, Kieran Corrupt CJ Gunner the match official with the kill switch uh, Roth looked a bit confused had a few words with Kieran Corrupt Kieran Corrupt nailing his longtime friend putting him down and then putting him through a table That's which is it yeah and then smiling about it as he had left I mean I was I, it was a long time coming I've been saying that about Kieran Corrupt being kind of like the mighty Gennetti of the hit set he's proven without shadow of a doubt that he's definitely his own man and he's on nobody's shadow I cannot wait to see what 2020 has in store for Kieran Corrupt and it what revenge Alexander Ross going to want against his former friend but yeah through the table Dale Jones got to his feet didn't know what the hell was going on uh, absolutely Martin Raymondson was the only was back at ringside with Fentos had to he was the only other uh, match official in the building had to make the count count to 10 new champion Dale Jones and I'll, I'll just say this I'll look at the camera when I'm saying this Kieran Corrupt you've got a lot of uh, questions to ask in 20 answer in yeah yeah, yeah. And I'm sure he will at some point when he feels like it uh, there's a lot to take in after today I have to say but um, Dale Jones I'm very very proud of Dale Jones very pleased um, his career's come full circle Dale Jones has achieved everything there is to achieve in UKPW and uh, 2020 there's he's got a big target on his back now a oh, massive absolutely. target on his back now it'll be interesting to see what 2020 has in store for him a lot of uh, uh, questions that need to be answered as you said Ross but if, if 2020 is anything like how 2019 has gone I can't wait to be a part of it oh, I can't I can't wait to get started again well there you go ladies and gentlemen uh, from us here it's uh, the end of UKPW in 2019 uh, we wish you safe uh, travels wherever you're doing stay safe this holiday period and now we'll see you in the new year thank you thank you